Alright, so we'll move on to firearms and uh, bows and arrows. These will be relatively similar. So, first off, we'll select the bow, get the bow into his hand. Actually, no, I don't have to do that. The bow comes with this rig. So what I've gone and done is parented the bow to his hand. We should do that if you don't have uh, weapons that come with your rig. It's disappearing. That's strange. There we go. Um... Make sure you parent both the rotation and the movement. I know most people can parent it, but then whenever they rotate their arm, the rig just doesn't follow the rotation. I've had that trouble uh, for around six months because I couldn't figure out what was happening. You could see that happening in the first episode of the Minecraft Animated Adventures. I really struggled at that time. To, I had to do all the parenting stuff manually. Uh, the parenting, the automatic parenting, just d didn't didn't do what I expected it to do. So anyway, we'll have the bow in his hand. Whoops, it should it, that's in the complete wrong hand, I just noticed. You pull a bow, if you're right-handed, you hold the bow with your left hand. So I just noticed that was, uh, that's a mistake. Move that down. All right. Get it across. And look at that, it lines up perfectly. So the Minecraft rigs, you have the string that, that kind of goes through the arm. You could... Rotate it a bit so it doesn't stick through the arm. In fact, that's probably a good idea. I honestly haven't used bows to animate much, so... Uh, who knows? We'll see. I always went against a simple uh, bow position. Again, we select the, uh, the waist, rotate it by 70 degrees, do the hunch over thing, and rotate the head. So I'll just skip that a bit since I've already done that two times in the past. So now we'll take the bow and we'll move it forward. Here's the problem with a Minecraft rig, it's that the arms are sometimes not long enough to pull the strings of the bow. So you have to make sure it's in range that the other hand can pull it. I don't even think the other hand can reach it by now. You're going to have to make the string really long, or just... you there uh, In Minecraft there has to be some type of compromise for this. So what we want to do is point the bow forward, and we'll rotate the arms so that it's not a crossbow stance. You could leave it as crossbow stance, actually, but make sure you're, you're aiming the bow properly. Right now, what this would do is shoot it like right into the ground. So, where is the arm? Close that off. Rotate the arm. Actually, no, that wouldn't be a good idea, because then your bow wouldn't be aiming straight forward. Ah, uh, never mind. So make sure that the bow actually lines up with um, your arm. I tried to rotate it earlier, but I just realized that would make the bow awkward as it wouldn't be aiming in the proper direction you wanted it to. That means that the string must go through the arm, which is a real pain in the butt. Uh, so I'm not sure about that gray thing. I think you should kind of hide that with a hand. Okay. But anyway, it means that this arm won't be able to pull the string properly unless you have a really good rig with the string that, that can uh, free move or apparent that to the uh, arm. By the way, we'll move this arm so that it looks like he's pulling back the string, even though he can't because the arm is not long enough. So somewhere like that. In this case, you do want the arms to be straight, so that he aims properly. There you go. But remember that uh, bows, or uh, um, arrows drop, so you always have to aim higher than you think. Speaking of that, this is too low. In this case, you could have cross legs. Because you're trying to stand uh, still. It's not like anyone will knock you over. If you're using a bow, it means you're pretty far away from your target. You don't have to uh, have that steady of a stance. It's not like someone's going to rush you and try to knock you over. So spread the legs out just a little bit so he's still standing. 
Here we go. Simple bow stance. I guess it would be the same with the firearm. You can just replace that with a firearm, and instead of that arm being there, you can move it back. Or you could have a double grip for firearm, a double handed grip. There we go. Yeah, so there we go. Here is your uh, weapon holding tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. It went on for a really long time. I'm gonna have to cut this up into separate pe uh, bits. Um, since you made it this far into the video, I will post annotations all along the top so you can skip from swords to dual wielding to, to god knows what. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something and make sure you stick to join in next episode for fist fighting. Um, where I'll teach you easy movements to animate. And yeah, thanks for watching.